y'all, we now in the car. I'm about to go to Walmart real quick. I need some water and a few other things. So yeah, that's what we're doing. It is beautiful here. Like I said, I'm excited for everything. The house is really beautiful, by the way. I think you guys will like it. So yeah. See you guys in a minute. Okay, y'all, so we now in Walmart. I'm gonna just grab some little stuff. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So we're now at the house, and I just had to clean up a little bit, y'all, because y'all know I do not like a messy house. And I'm just like, let me just clean up just a little bit, just try to get some stuff together. But basically, I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Y'all, the house is real nice. This is definitely my dream house. Okay. Definitely my dream house for sure. But I'm just cleaning some stuff up real quick. Just to kind of get some stuff out the way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um I just wanted it to just look just a little bit more put together in here. Shower in a minute. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do first, y'all. If, if I have not told y'all, if y'all haven't been able to tell about the trees and stuff, I am in the Sunshine State, y'all. I am in Florida, and I'm very excited because I've never been to this part of Florida. I am actually in Tampa, Florida, right now, and it's a vibe, sis. Loving everything about it right now. I just got me some smart water and some. Um, copy from the store but i will give you guys a tour real quick before i get in the shower because i'm gonna get in the shower in a minute okay y'all so this is how the kitchen look right here it's pretty big i like the kitchen it's really cute um ignore the massive stuff everywhere <laughs> but the little dining area right here over here is the little um living room is pretty big though i can really see some real potential in here um Ceilings are pretty high. And this is the little sofa that's in here. Okay. Then over here is the front door, which is so big and grand, so nice. And then right here is like a little like dining area, really cute. And then through here is a little room, which I just love these doors. This is a room right here. I don't know where the lights is, but this is a room right here. Pretty big. And then when you go in here, y'all, I was like, oh, this is nice. And then I just seen these little mirrors right here, like a vanity. I, when I came over here, I was like, uh-uh. Is that a tub? Like, look at this tub, y'all. Like, how cute is this? Like, what? And then over here, it's just like a little shower. And then it's the bathroom in here. And then they got this really big walk-in like closet with the light. Oh, that light is fancy. This is definitely a girl's closet. This is really cute. So this is the walk-in closet. Really cute. I liked it a lot. More closet space. These are like the little double doors I was telling you about. So cute. And then when you walk out. Oh, so this is the patio back here as well. But when you walk this way, you got the kitchen to the right. And then right here is the hallway. This is the laundry room. That's the closet. This is actually my room that I am staying in. Right here has a closet, also has a little walk-in bathroom shower. So that's how that's looking right now. So the house has, I think, four bedrooms. It's this bedroom, and then this is another bedroom with like twin beds in it. So that's one, two, and this is like the master in here. And then this is like a little 
room right here, which is like a prayer room, which is really cute. So that's that. Baby, the outside of this house ain't nothing to play with. I'm gonna <laughs> it is so beautiful. I think I should show y'all real quick before I get dressed. But the outside of the house is so beautiful, y'all. Like, this is like the front door area. And as you can see, it is a super nice neighborhood. And then this is the garage area. It's really nice. This is like a little short palm tree, really cute. That's how that looks. And this is how the house looks. Really cute. This is like the um, floors. But the houses all around here are really cute. It's a really cute neighborhood. And this is the front door. Really cute. Okay. So yeah, it is really warm down here in Florida today. Tampa, baby. And uh, we're about to get into some things, bro. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed for today so I can get out. I've been doing so much working. I need to go ahead and get dressed for today. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get dressed for today. Um, probably wash my hair, get dressed for today, and I will see you guys a little later. Yeah, I forgot to show y'all what I ended up getting from Walmart. So I got this Ole new like restores hydration. So skin feels healthy i end up getting this soap to use while i'm on this vacation then i had got this um jerkins enriching she butter lotion and then i also end up getting this new dove exfoliating body polish and crushed almond and mango butter so i'm really excited to use this because i heard this was really good and then i got my regular dove since the skin unscented and then also i end up getting some dove um dry spray this is actually new i have not um used this before so i'm super excited and i got it in the she butter then i end up getting this candle right here it is um, palo santo sage coconut wax blend and this is a two wick okay and then i end up getting me some um all white sheets to go on the bed because y'all know that i need all white sheets <laughs> And then I just got me a little scrunchie for when I wash up. Also, I ended up getting me a new washcloth and a new towel. And then I got me a silk satin pillowcase. And then I got me a regular pillow right here. And then I also got this Beach Defense Neutrogena um, Broad SPF 70. So, yeah, I feel like I needed this um, in case I go to the beach or something. So, that's everything I got from Walmart. So I am all dressed for today and I want to go out and find some food and some good picture spots. So I think I want to go to this um, place called um, Channel Side and it has like a really like nice like area to take pictures and stuff like that. So I think I want to go there and they also sell food as well. So I think that's where I want to go. I am dressed for today. I just have on this really like long dress. This is how it looks right here. But it's really long. I need like a full size mirror but yeah. This is pretty much how it looks, really cute. And I went on here and put my hair in like a little side part. So I'm definitely ready to take some pictures for the gram. Yeah, so it's looking really pretty. So yeah, we want to go ahead and head out. So I will see you guys in a minute. Oh yeah, also guys, this is the purse that I'm wearing and these are actually the slides that I'm wearing. This is my slide, Thank you.
Okay guys, so we are now um, walking to the, what's it called again? Sparkman Wharf. Sparkman Wharf. Um, yeah, and it just got like some restaurants out here, some nice views. And I just want to catch a vibe real quick and probably take some pictures. downtown um about to go to this park we did um get some food it was really good definitely would highly recommend but we are going to this park right now i want you guys to see it it's really beautiful Welcome to a brand new day guys. So today is actually April 5th. It is a Tuesday. Today's my second day here in Tampa, Florida And um, I did just go ahead and get dressed for today uh, for breakfast All I did was like a coffee and a bagel as you guys seen earlier, but I am dressed for today I'm trying to figure out which purse I want to wear um, I have like this really pretty like red dress on so this is actually what I'm wearing and then I'm doing the curly middle part in my hair today so like I said, I do have a few things on my itinerary so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but it's a lot to do down here in Tampa, so I'm really excited for everything. I'm trying to debate if I want to wear the white purse or this purse. I'm really feeling like this purse today. I just think it looks really cute. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I look in a mirror. I wish it was a full-size mirror, but it's not. So this is basically what I'm wearing. I just have on this really pretty, like, almost like African-inspired um, red dress. And it just has like this little like gold loop in it right here, and it like kind of... Um, goes like cross on the side it's really long it's really cute though oh and also it has like this really pretty print at the bottom that you guys really can't see let me see if I can show you guys it's like this really pretty print at the bottom it's really pretty but um, you guys will see when you um, see my pictures if you guys follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you go and follow me on Instagram at Style by Imani if you're not already. I'm going to um, get everything that I need and then we're gonna go ahead and head out, so let's go. So we are at this um, Hyatt like district and they got like all like these like restaurants and stores and stuff and I just wanted to come down here and catch a vibe real quick. I did see like this candle place where you're supposed to, I guess you can like make your own candle, so that's kind of what I wanna do for real. So yeah, hopefully that's available and I wanna check that out, so yeah. 
but the area is really pretty though i'll show you guys once we get out the car we're just parking right now and then um the place is like right down the street with like all like the restaurants and stuff so so we are now at the district it is absolutely gorgeous it's a real vibe y'all know i love vibes and taking pictures and definitely finding some food in the process so we're in this really cute area um i did just take some pictures really quick it turned out really cute y'all look at this plant it's just so cute look at it that is so cute but basically i took some pictures this is really beautiful down here but we're gonna go ahead and look for this place the candle pour is where i want to go to actually make a candle because i feel like that can kind of be like my little like activity for today um so i want to do that and then also get some food i just want to get as much done here as i can and then yeah we're good i don't know if i told y'all but this is the purse that i end up wearing today with my um little dress so yeah but yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that absolutely amazing out here i just love it it's a real vibe babe did you find it it says it's one minute away okay are we going left or right it hasn't told me yet okay i definitely want to go through here because it's really pretty and i just want to see the vibes so this is like the vibes y'all it's really pretty like i said it's like all type of stores out here this is like a little restaurant right here really cute and as you can see look at this vibe down here look at this umbrella what this is so cute so it has like a little waterfall and this is called high park district so yeah this is a vibe oh my god <gasps> look at this little flower spot uh-uh i gotta go in there look at all the flowers and stuff y'all this is a plant store oh this is so cute but y'all look at this vibe though catch the vibe sis is this it no the candle pour right there i knew it babe it's right there the candle pour it's right there I'm excited. This is pretty. So y'all, I did find the um, candle pour place. So yeah, I'm gonna go in there and check it out and then we're gonna see what it do.
this little ice cream place because I wanted to get some ice cream. And we're about to go in here and get some ice cream real quick. Um, yeah, so. And then I'm thinking, and then I think after this we're going to the beach. But yeah, yeah, we're about to go into this little ice cream spot. It just looked in like a little vibe. I was like, I want some ice cream before we hit the highway real quick. Because I think it's about like 30 minutes to like either beach, right babe? Either Clearwater or um, St. Petersburg. To the beaches? No. Oh. But yeah, it's real cute over here. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's real cute, but. They got bikes and stuff outside. It's the little ice cream spot right here. Okay, y'all, we end up coming to St. Petersburg, so that's where we at right now. Um, super excited, never been here before, so we just about to catch some vibes tonight, but yeah. So yeah, we are, um, I guess, walking on a pier right now. Um, we're gonna walk close to the water, though. See what it's giving. But it looks really nice out here, though. It's really pretty. So we end up stopping at this little bus stop. So apparently this bus stop is supposed to like, um, I guess pick you up and take you close to the pier. Cause I didn't really want to walk out with Anna. So we're going to see what it do when it come. But it's like a little bus where you pretty much get on and kind of hop off, um, I guess wherever you want to. But I think the pier is pretty long. So that's pretty much what I want to do is get on this bus if I can. Cause we've been like pretty much walking all day. I would definitely like to take a little break from walking. So yeah. Oh, they got their little baby out there. They're so cute. Them gates and lights and stuff, like the blue lights. It's like a restaurant, huh, babe? Yeah. Like I know, like at the, it used to be, but they redesigned it since the last time I was here. Yeah. But yeah, we just wait on this little bus. So we're going to see if we can hop on here real quick to catch a rat. So, real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, we at the St. Peter's Pier. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. It looks really nice out here. It's a beautiful night. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I will catch you guys in a minute.
Okay guys, so we are now down here at the pier. It looks beautiful. It is dark outside though. Um, it is beautiful though, but this is how it looks. So I guess this is the St. Petersburg Pier. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the pier, guys. I don't know if you guys can see the water, but it looks really beautiful at night. I'm glad they got like a little bit of lights out here because if they didn't grow, we wouldn't be able to see nothing. But it's really pretty though. This is so relaxing. I'm so blessed. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. And then they got like the little like lights down there where you can go to the end. Really pretty. I'm gonna use the bathroom girl because <laughs> I need to use the bathroom. The hair was cool. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Um, and then we'll probably go upstairs and see what they got going on. But this is how your girl is looking after a long day. Um, at this point, I'm pretty much hungry and I could pretty much um, just really chill for real, so. Hi guys, it is officially a new day. Today is Wednesday, April, I believe, 7th. And um, I am dressed for today. Um, we have to go pick up the candle today. And then after that, I'm not sure what we're doing, but I definitely want to take a picture on the beach, um, get some lunch, and like do like an like, activity. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well today. It's a beautiful day down here in Tampa, Florida. And I am in the house right now. Um, I'm about to leave out here in a minute, but I am wearing this really cute dress right here. It's really cute. I want to get like a full body um, view for you guys. I'm not sure how I'll get that, but it's like hard as hell, but let me see. Baby. Mm -hmm. 
You ready to get your ass? Okay. It's really hard to tell in here, but um, <laughs> with the little diamond mirror. But this is basically the dress that I'm wearing today. It's a really beautiful. Um, it's probably better to see it in my mirror, but yeah, it's really cute. This mirror is cute though, but I'm gonna show you how I look in my mirror though. But yes, yeah, a beautiful day. I hope you slept well, babe. Yeah. That's good. It is a beautiful day, guys, and I'm just excited. I smell so good. I'm wearing this Marc Jacobs perfume but this is basically um what i'm wearing today um it looks really gorgeous and i really want to take some pictures because i love this dress i think it's really like you know cute but yeah it looks really pretty um it's long it comes all the way down um to the floor as you guys can see but very gorgeous i definitely want to get some really pretty pictures with this because this dress is definitely serving for the girls okay but yeah, guys, this is what I am wearing. And um, we're about to head out here. Like I said, I have to go pick up my candle because they said they're gonna pick it up today after 12 o'clock. So right now the time is like almost two o'clock. But um, I'm just glad we kind of getting out a little, a little bit earlier than we did yesterday because like I said, the uh, traffic here is crazy. So basically, I'll probably see you guys once I get in the car and we figure out what's going on for today. Okay, y'all, we are now in the car and we are about to go ahead and pick up the candle from the candle pour and stuff like that so um after this we are probably gonna try to find like a little beach and try to catch a little vibe but um yeah so we're gonna do that and then we have reservations tonight at the ocean not the ocean well basically it's like an ocean but it's called the bahama breeze and it's at like 7 15 tonight so i definitely want to take some pictures before i start sweating and stuff like that and then um just try to catch some little vibes here in tampa so So we have our candle. Um, now I'm about to go get back in the car so we can go ahead and basically start our day. This is McDill Air Force Base. Okay. And it has like an ocean on the side. How long is the um, ocean for, babe? Um, this goes out to the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, this, really? This is the end of the first peninsula. So. Okay. Three miles or the okay. estimate. Nice. If we go around all the way. So that's where we're at right now, guys. I wanted to come out here and take some pictures and get some footage from you guys. Um so yeah, we're just pretty much right on the um little ocean right now on the base. It looks really nice, very relaxing. But yeah, I definitely want to get some pictures out here somewhere. That's a cute little area over there. Yeah, this is where we at right now. Um, like I said, reservations are like 7.15, so I wanna try to get as much done as I can before the end. <laughs> So we are in the car right now and we are on our way to dinner. Dinner reservations are at 
7.15. The time right now is 6.45. And, um, yeah. Sharp left so. onto West Boy Scout Boulevard. We're in the car right now. But, yeah. We will, um, check in with you guys. Hey girls, so um, it is a little bit later in the day. Um, I did just get out of the shower. I was kind of just chilling for a little minute today. Today was definitely like a chill day. I'm not even sure what I want to do when I leave, but I just know I'm about to go ahead and head out. I'm pretty much dressed. I just got like this little all uh, black um, dress on with just like these little slides, but I definitely probably want to hit a mall. I'm thinking a mall like around a corner or this other mall that look like a little vibe. So I definitely probably want to hit a mall today. And then because the time right now is like after five o'clock, literally I gotta hurry up. <laughs> but I want to definitely hit a mall today. And um, after that might go find some different type of food. But right now that's pretty much it. That's pretty chill. Um, and no pictures today. So <laughs> we ain't got no pressure for no pictures today. So no pictures. But I do want to go to a mall, maybe grab like a little souvenir, um, do some shopping, and then maybe just go grab some food later on tonight. So.
I'm in Z Gallery, and why do Z Gallery got um robes in here, y'all? Like, what? It's a hundred dollars. I'm thinking about getting it. I know I'm crazy, but y'all, I seen this little robe, and I'm like, oh my goodness, for a hundred? Am I crazy? And then it also come with the little mask too. Super cute. I'm about to see how much I can get off of this. Dollar roll sound. For a hundred. For $73.99. Oh, for that? Mm. That's definitely something else I don't even need. No, this is the roll. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you ready for your luggage. Mmm. You know Let me what? See if I can find it there. Hold on. Okay, so this is this is the robe for seventy four ninety nine. Like a little discount, but this little Z Gallery robe is so cute. I just could not pass this up. I'm like a robe at Z Gallery. You're kidding. This is cute. I just I just love this. Mmm. <laughs> such an amazing time it was so needed I just needed that but more than anything I just deserved that moment in that time um so I'm just grateful to be able to have those type of experiences I hope you guys all enjoyed um my vacation because I was really really having a very nice time and I just really just enjoyed myself so I am back at home and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting from some of the stores that I ended up shopping at 
when I went up there to the malls. So I do want to show you guys some things that I got and then also show you guys my candle that I ended up making when I was at the um, candle pour also as well. So I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, the first thing I want to show you guys is actually my candle that I ended up creating at the candle pour. This is actually my candle right here. It actually came in like this clear container. I did pick this container out. Then also it just came with like this little um, top right here. And these are actually the tops that you smell when you pick out your scents that you would like to mix together. And then it has the brand on there, sticker. It says the candle pour in Tampa, Florida. And then also guys at the bottom, they have you sign your name at the bottom. So I went ahead and just put style by Imani. So I did put that in there. Um, and then also they give you guys these really cute um, candle pour matches too as well to also go with your um, candle. So I thought this was really cute. And the flavors that I did I think was cashmere, white tea, and yeah, it smells so good. Uh, it smells so good now one thing I did notice is that they did not put my candle wax all the way up to the top I'm not sure why but I feel like it's like a huge gap right here and I feel like this should have been filled all the way up comment if you guys agree this candle was actually $27 but with my tip and everything that I ended up giving them it came to like $34 so I think if somebody is paying almost $30 for a candle I do feel like this candle should have been filled all the way up to the top I'm not sure why it wasn't um, but hopefully it just wasn't mine that looks like this. Um, but yeah, it's basically a one wick candle, but it smells good. It definitely smells like the fragrances that I end up mixing together, um, with the oils and stuff. Like I said, handmade, very cute. Um, the experience was definitely worth it. Um, if you're ever in like the Tampa area, um, I would definitely recommend. This was at the Hyde Park Village. So it's like a bunch of stores and restaurants and stuff. I like this little like district and that's where I ended up finding this place that because I always wanted to um make one of my candles one day so yeah because I had seen other girls do it like I think they got like places in like Atlanta um I think in Houston Texas as well but yeah when I seen this place I was like oh yeah I'm definitely making a candle so I did make my own custom candle and I am going to burn it today and put it in my office so I'm really excited but yeah this is how it looks it's definitely worth the experience if you guys want to um check it out you just have to google the candle pour and like i said it is in the hyde park village so yeah i would highly recommend you guys to try this out also guys the address is right here as well if you guys would like to screenshot it and actually have this experience if you are visiting the tampa florida area anytime soon so yeah that was the first thing i wanted to show you guys was the candles now um i did want to go ahead and show you guys some items that i did purchase from the mall so the mall that we end up going to is the international plaza i picked this mall in particular because i felt like it was a vibe and i was just really all about the vibes when i went to tampa um <laughs> basically my whole trip so basically i wanted to always find a place that had food and like picture spots and like shopping or like a souvenir shop so this international mall had everything that i ever wanted um it was a few stores in there that i was not even expecting to see um i'm very excited that i was able to show them because some of the stores we don't even have in ohio anymore that i had just learned when i was there so i was like ah oh, yeah i might as well purchase some of these items right now because these type of stores we just don't have in ohio because to me ohio is just like one of them little states that just don't really have like those big brands um but i will show you guys some of the items that i end up purchasing that i end up getting from the international mall so i would definitely highly recommend visiting that mall if you have not visited before if you plan on going to the tampa bay area so the first thing I want to show you guys is my items that I end up getting from Aldo. Now we do have an Aldo, I believe, in our city. Um, but I feel like the Aldo that was up there just had more stuff. And it was just like more luxury. So um, I did grab a couple of items that I want to show you guys. And basically these items that I grabbed, I basically probably want to wear these when I take my solo trip out of the country. Because I am still taking a solo trip out of the country um, this year for my birthday, which is in July. So I did end up purchasing a couple of items from Aldo. She did end up packaging everything really nice inside a plastic bag. So I'll show you guys everything that I got. So the first thing that I end up getting is these earrings right here. Like I said, they're all in these little bags. So the first thing I had got was these little Aldo earrings right here, which I thought were really cute. So they're really good quality and they're gold, super cute. These earrings actually were, 
eight dollars for these earrings so uh, I thought these were really cute so this was the first thing that I ended up getting and then next I ended up getting a ankle bracelet which I really love ankle bracelets I just can never find any that's actually worth buying so I did end up getting me a ankle bracelet really glad I did it is so cute oh my goodness so this ankle bracelet was actually ten dollars now I will say um the aldo is not cheap but i do feel like they do have really good quality items so i didn't mind buying them so i did get this really cute ankle bracelet and this is how it looks right here so these are like the details it has like a little cross like a little like swirly thing really cute okay so this is how it looks close up this is an anklet so basically it looks like it can be adjusted as well so it has like a cross on it oh this is cute with the little black snake is that a snake this is real cute oh and it has a heart how cute is this oh my goodness so it actually has a heart and then it has like okay so let me see if y'all can see this closer so this is everything that's on it so it has like a little heart like a little circle like thing this is so cute I really love this oh my goodness so yeah this can be adjusted and it actually has two snakes it has one with like the diamonds and then it has like another one with like this little like emerald green like diamond with like goals it's fire I love it it's real cute but yeah this is the next thing that I got and like I said this was ten dollars so the next thing I end up purchasing is um a necklace now if you don't know I actually love gold jewelry uh if you guys haven't noticed I pretty much wear this gold jewelry um this gold chain right here pretty much with all my outfits i think it's very elegant and it just doesn't do a lot this is a real um 14k i think it's an 18k um chain right here as well as my um little charm right here too as well so i did go ahead and purchase me a cute little double chain necklace it is actually a really cute cross necklace it's gold and it has like the little cuts in it which i like cross right here and then it also has a cross down here as well and this is how it looks like this it's about how long it is and it looks like you can adjust this so this actually was $12 and like I said it comes with a small cross and a big one so like this is how it looks right here really cute you got the big one at the bottom and then the um, small one at the top I just love these type of chains I love dainty like jewelry that just doesn't do the most because it just look good and to me it just makes the jewelry not look so fake so yeah this is the next thing that i got the last thing that i got y'all i seen these and i was like sis i got to have these like i could see me now at the airport looking like a whole bag with these like i was like i said i said i need those sis these are so cute anyways the next thing that i ended up getting was these really cute they kind of like to me they kind of like the chanel inspired glasses to me they kind of got like the uh frame but like a little like outline outside the frame and it just looks really expensive so and i just love yeti's fur anyways these are um the glasses that i end up getting from aldo like sis these are fuego like like i said you got the side right here that just gives like that inspired like chanel or like gucci like edging right there with the gold it just looks so good and it looks like this on the other side as well this is the other side but like this is the frame i was telling y'all about right here it's, it's this frame so it got like a little gold up here as well but then it has like a little frame outside of it that just make it look a lot more expensive than they are and that's what attracted me to it also the quality on these glasses are literally insane um they feel good they look good it's structured very nice and you can just tell these are really good quality yeah now these glasses actually retail for let me see did they got the tag on here they ain't got the tag how much did i pay for these then was it 18 hold on was these 18 dollars i think these were 18 dollars it don't say it on here for some reason let me see I think these was like $18. Yeah, I think these were like $18. Cause they was on a little rack thing, but they don't have a price on the sticker. But yeah, these are super, super cute. So yeah, basically um, when I grabbed these items, I literally had just ideas already in my head. Like I'm gonna wear these here, I'm gonna wear these there. So 
yeah basically with all this jewelry and glasses that i got i definitely plan on um kind of letting those be my staples when i take my trip out the country you know nice cause you, i mean we always need a good pair of glasses like i feel like i can wear those with like all my outfits with my suits and everything um and then as far as the ankle bracelets the earrings out it i just feel like that's a nice little like starter kit from when you about to go out of town especially solo like sis you gotta come hard you know what i'm saying so yeah so that's basically everything i end up getting from aldo i want you guys to comment if you guys shop at aldo or like if you guys have one in your mall um in your city or whatever so y'all i did end up going to zara now we do not have a zara in my city but i think the closest one i think is columbus ohio but we don't have a zara here and i like to shop um inside the store versus online now i will shop online if i don't have no other choice but the most online shopping i do is like amazon to be honest but like when it comes to clothes and shoes and all that i'll be having to be there to kind of try it on so i did end up going into zara because they had a zara in there y'all when i seen it i was geek and i was like oh yeah <laughs> they got a zara i'm like it's about to go down super cute and the first thing that i end up purchasing is this really cute two-piece i do love these like two-piece athletic sets so i did purchase this little two-piece so this is how the top look and the material is really good too if you do shop at zara then you know they have really good quality clothes and don't get me wrong they can be a little expensive but if you know how to shop you'll be able to still get what you want at a reasonable price so i did go to zara and the first thing i had got is like this um almost like a it's like a stretchy like black top right here so i know it looks plain but it's really cute this is like a stretchy like rib top this did come from zara now this is in the size let's see this is in a size medium large and that's basically how all the clothes are um size it's extra small to small and then it's medium to large now this um top right here was 12.90 which i didn't think was a super bad price but like i said zara can get really high um i'll say that <laughs> but this is how the top looks and like i said the quality is really nice I'm really excited to wear this. Like I said, I can pretty much wear this as like a little airport outfit, which is pretty much what I might do is like wear this to like the airport when I take my solo trip. So this is the top that I have. And then also they had the matching bottoms and I about lost my mind. I said, oh, I got the matching bottoms. I'm like, oh yeah, this my, <laughs> I'm like, this is perfect. So I did end up getting the matching bottoms. The matching bottoms was actually $19.90. <laughs> like I said, they can get a little pricey. $19.90 and these are the bottom so it is like a um like a biker short sort of but they kind of come a little longer than like a regular biker short which I love um because they won't be so like caught up in like my little you know middle area or whatever but this is how they look and like I said it's like the red material and it basically has the same like design as my shirt both are in the same size the material is really nice and it also stretches really nice as well so yeah, I basically got these little like shorts and then I had got the little top to go with it. So that's the first thing I had got from Zara. So Zara has like all these like different color pieces inside their store. So right now with it being like the spring summertime, they do have like a lot of like vibrant colors like pink and yellow and green and that Bottega green and all. So I did find this really cute green dress. It has like these little scrunchy things on the side and the back is out on this dress i just thought it was really cute and then it has like the little tie right here in the front this did come from zara this uh dress was actually 29.99 and it's pretty long so it's like this long so this is how long it comes okay so it comes about that long and like i said this is definitely like that bottega green really cute and this is in a size large. I don't think, yeah. Oh, so they had an extra large in this too. But I had got the large. But I probably could have did the medium. I'm not going to lie. Because when I tried it on, it was a little big. But I know I'm not a small girl. So, um, yeah, I wanted it to be able to fit me. But I think probably after I wash it, it will probably um, shrink a little bit. But because I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm. Now, it does stretch. I'm not going to lie to you. It does have a nice amount of stretch on this dress if you do decide to get a um one of these just know that you can either like maybe size up or size down because like i said the dress do stretch a lot so i could have really got off with a medium but i'll see how it actually fits 
um, after I really tried on with um, no clothes up under it. So yeah. I really just recently became a perfume girl. Um, I see why a lot of women like wear perfumes because it really do make a difference. Um, especially when you are a feminine woman, uh, it just makes everything just makes sense. So I did end up purchasing some perfumes from Zara. Now it is this perfume called Ebony Woods that I end up, um, like seeing like all over YouTube, like all like the YouTubers and stuff got it. And I used to always be like, I wonder if that really smelled good. So y'all literally when I went in there and I had looked like a bunch of like these little like, um, shells and it had like this little perfume. Yeah, they had the Ebony Woods and I was like, oh my goodness, take it to Ebony Woods. Like, I've been looking for it. Now, I don't know if this um, perfume was actually on sale, but I did end up getting the Ebony Woods um, perfume. It looked like it was probably on sale, maybe, because I don't know how much it is regular. Or this could be the regular price, but this is how they perfumes come, like this. So, I did end up getting the Ebony Woods from Zara. This package really nice. Um, basically, you just slide it out of this little box right here really cute so you just slide it out of this and then this is how it will actually look and then you just take it and you like open it almost like a book it's so cute and this is how it looks in the inside so I will say the packaging on a perfumes are so cute it just make you just want to buy it this is the size of the ebony woods that I end up purchasing from Zara now this size is the let's see the size of this perfume is a 40 milliliter. I'm not sure if this was actually on sale or if this is like their regular um, prices for this perfume, but yeah, it was definitely worth it. Oh, they smell good. Let me see. I'm gonna just put some on my wrist real quick. I'm gonna let it die down real quick. I just want to smell it again just to see like how it smells real quick. But yeah, this perfume is super cute. And it was $20. I want you guys to comment below if you guys have the Ebony Woods at Zara. And if you guys are looking to purchase it as well. So like I said, this is the packaging and everything is just packaged really well. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I see why girls get this. It smells really good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is it right here. Ooh, this is it. And also I heard um, this is um, good for like mixing perfumes as well. So I might have to mix that with some of my little um, other perfumes and see how it um, hits. So I think um, this is a popular one. And it's another one that's real popular. I'm, I'm gonna have to look online to see what they got. But I'm so glad I got the Ebony Woods. Oh, it is so worth it. Oh, this is worth it. Mm -hmm. This is worth it. I like this a lot. Definitely, I highly recommend the Ebony Woods at Zara because it smells really, really good. Yeah, I ended up coming across this other little perfume. And I was like, this is cute. It's I think it's pronounced Newt. Newt. Newt, one of them. But this is how the packaging looks right here. This is also by Zara. Okay, packaging is really cute. And this is a very like musty but very warm um scent. But y'all when I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is cute. Now this was 1990 as well. Let me see how much this one was again. Yeah, so it looked like yeah, so this was 1990, which was smaller, and then this one was 1990 as well. So this is um how the bottle look. It says uh newt. Newt Zara Dress Time 03. I want you guys to comment. Let me know if you guys ever heard of this bottle or if you guys ever purchased it yourself. But this is how the bottle looks. And the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. You can just tell by the bottle. It's a very like warm, like musty like scent. But guys, this smells so good. This perfume is wow. To me, this can be like a... um a man's perfume and a woman's perfume because I feel like it's like a unisex type of vibe to me but it smells really good um it's definitely girly still as well but it definitely has like a it's like the smell is like a it's very warm with like a 
like a fruity like flavor it's like warm but it's not too warm so i do feel like i can wear this in like the spring in the summer and definitely the winter and fall it smells really good um this is how it looks and like i said it was 20 dollars, and it does have the little um top on there that says zara so i thought that was really cute yeah so this is the next perfume that i ended up getting from zara i think i had got like two perfumes that was definitely two good perfumes so i'm glad that i ended up purchasing these it was other perfumes in there i'm not sure if these were on sale or not but yeah because when i looked on the website it was basically like all the same um prices so z gallery actually sells robes and y'all, I ended up going in Z Gallery and I found this robe, y'all, and it was a hundred dollars. <laughs> now it was a hundred dollars, and I ain't gonna lie, I would have paid a whole hundred for it. But the girl had gave me like a little discount. Not sure where the discount came from, or if she was just trying to look out for me. But I ended up getting it for like it was like seventy four when she put like a little discount on it. And then after she had discounted it, it had came to like seventy nine almost eighty dollars for this robe so yeah z gallery had this robe and i just thought it was very unique i had never seen anybody talk about z gallery's um robes or even having a robe from z gallery so when i seen it i was like i gotta have this robe for one i've never heard of anybody having a robe from z gallery so i had to have it and the robe that it is it's like one of kind of like the cameo robes and the pattern is so gorgeous i could not pass it up you guys seen it yesterday so it also come with like a little face sleeping mask as well and then also like a little duffel bag pretty much put your robe inside with your little sleeping mask like on vacation so that's actually perfect so i did end up purchasing a robe from the z gallery yesterday no i did not get on home decor because i was not about to try to fit it inside my suitcase or trying to get it sent back to the city if i want to purchase some um furniture or some um, home decor i will just go ahead and do that online this is the robe right here so we are going to go ahead and do an unboxing of the robe okay like i said this robe was originally a hundred dollars so we'll see why it's worth or if it's worth originally a hundred dollars but basically um oh it actually has it on there too <laughs> oh and it comes in the little bag oh my god oh this is too cute stop playing y'all so the robe already come in a little bag like what the robe already come in like a little dust bag this is so cute so this is actually the tag which it says a two-piece oh uh, yeah this is real cute so it says a z spa essential satin robe and sleep mask set z gallery so this is how the tag looks as you can see it was originally a hundred dollars and it already comes in it's a really cute little satin bag oh this is so fire i don't even understand how excited i am so if you don't know i do love robes i am a robe girl i think robes are very feminine and honey a good self-care day get out with a robe spray some little perfume on you glass of wine mm, that's all i need in life i promise you so we're gonna go ahead and open this up as you can see like everything is just really good quality even the um even the strings on it is really good quality as well like girl so let me see. Let me see. Oh, it acts, oh, and it has like a little string that you actually untie. Oh, this is real cute. I love this. Oh my goodness. So we just opened her up. Okay, let's go ahead and grab her out of here. So okay, so when you open your little bag with your robe in it, it'll open up like this. Okay. So as you can see, it has the sleeping mask right here, which is really good quality. So you do have the little sleeping mask, which is really cute. And then it has like the little like scrunchy part on the back. And then this is the robe right here. It says Z Gallery. I'm telling you, I have never seen anybody with a Z Gallery robe. This is the first for me. That's why I'm like, ah oh, yeah, let me purchase this because <laughs> Me personally, I haven't seen it, but I want you guys to comment and let me know. Do you guys have a Z Gallery robe? Or like, do you know somebody who actually purchased one? And did you actually know that Z Gallery sell clothes? Like, girl. The collar, um, it's just really like nice and like wide. So I love that so far. So this is how the robe looks right here. Super cute. Okay, this is how the middle looks. Pretty long. So I want to see how long it actually is. So I'm going to show you guys. And then if you guys don't know, this robe actually has 
um, pockets. So it has a pocket right here. So it has a pocket right here. And then it also has a pocket on the other side. Really cute. And this is how it looks close up. Okay, my love. So that is going to conclude this whole entire vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my Tampa, Florida vlog. I really enjoyed myself. It was so needed. Like, oh my goodness. I would have to say vacation is probably like one of the most fulfilling things that has ever been invented. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I definitely love to vacation. Like I said, I will have a solo trip coming as well for my birthday in July. So I'm really excited for that. I want you guys to comment and let me know if you guys live in the Tampa Bay area or are you guys from the South? So yeah, the city was really nice. Treated me very well. Um, everything was just amazing. I just really enjoyed myself and I'm really um, glad that I was able to have that time and actually just enjoy the moment, live in the moment and just do things that actually made me happy. So yeah, it just... It just really served me. But yeah, uh, that's everything that I ended up getting from the stores when I went to the mall up in Tampa. So the mall up there is really nice. I love it mall. Like I said, it's called International Plaza. So I would highly recommend you guys to go to the mall if you ever go to the Tampa area because they got some really cute stuff. Um, everything was really cute. I still cannot get over that Z Gallery got robes. I'm gonna have to look on their website to see if those are available on the website too as well. But still cannot get over that. Everything I purchased, I absolutely love. Um, and I'm glad that I actually purchased them. I had a really good time. I want you guys to comment below which part of the vlog was your favorite. And if you guys shop at Z Gallery, Zara, or Aldo for any items and stuff like that. So I want you guys to comment below. Also comment and let me know, do you guys plan on taking a vacation soon? And have you guys ever been to Tampa, Florida too as well? So I love you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.